Welcome to this animal-wise video where we discuss the happy cohabitation of cats. This is something much easier said than done and many cat guardians will have some doubts over the best way to do it. Fortunately, we show you how to introduce new cats to each other by looking at feline behaviour and understanding what it takes to help them get along. There are many potential problems which can arise when two or more cats cohabitate. They may hiss at each other, have one cat reject the other, or fight over dominance. While cats are more loving than many give them credit for, they can be quite independent and territorial. However, this doesn't mean cats can't happily live together in the right circumstances. We just need to make sure we do everything we can to engender a positive environment for everybody. The first way to do this is to look at the resident cat, the one already living in the home, and understand whether they are able to socialise with other cats. Although cats are not necessarily competitive, we need to ensure both cats have all their needs met. This means reducing the chances of conflicts over food, water and objects around the home. Here are some general preparations you will need to make. The first and most important thing is to know that each cat will need their own food bowl, water bowl and litter tray, even if they end up sharing them later on. We should ideally have an extra litter tray when housing two cats together. We will need to have plenty of spaces for them to play and rest. These should be shelves and structures on which the cats can play. They also create more space so cats can get away from each other when they need some downtime. You will need scratching posts so that they can both keep their nails in condition and mark their territory. You can also add a water fountain as most cats love this feature. Not all professionals will follow this technique, but in the majority of cases, most will implement a two-room policy. This requires preparing a room for the new cat where they will spend the first week or so. This helps the resident cat know there's a new individual as their smell will start to spread through the house slowly rather than all at once. When presenting the new cat, things get a little trickier. It's important that it takes place in a quiet place with few stimuli and under supervision from us. Generally, the cats will sniff each other and we will probably witness some hissing and swiping. Unless one or other cat appears to be in actual danger, we must not intervene as we need to respect their way of communicating. If they feel uncomfortable, you will need to have spaces for the new cat to hide and seek refuge. While we should provide as little intervention in this process as possible, we should reinforce positive behaviour in kind with treats or encouragement. As we have said, over the first few days and weeks, the cats may take swipes or try to intimidate each other. We need to allow this time for them to test their boundaries and adapt to each other. This may take time, even as much as a few months, but in the long run, we should see the cats tolerate each other more or less positively. In some cases, the cats simply do not get along. They continue to be uncomfortable and aggressive with each other. The causes of this problem are varied and include genetics, improper socialization, past trauma and others. It's not always possible to know what happened to the cat before they arrived in our home, but we can try to improve the situation. Guidelines on solving behavioural problems among cats vary depending on the individual cat, available resources and prognosis from an animal specialist. For this reason, you will likely need an assessment of the individual cats involved and not all behavioural modifications will work for every cat. However, these general tips to help cats cohabitate may prove beneficial. The use of positive reinforcement can encourage positive behaviour in the presence of the other cat, such as being calm or smelling them without fighting. If we are supervising the cats being together and we see one attack the other while playing, we can stop the session so that the resident cat knows this will not be accepted and the fun is over. This does not mean we should shout at them as this could do more harm than good. Keeping our cats both physically and mentally stimulated allows them to keep a positive frame of mind. It promotes well-being as well as provides enrichment and learning. On the pet market we can find synthetic pheromones for cats. These reproduce the pheromones emitted by lactating cats which cause the kittens to feel relaxed. We can use this product to promote relaxation at home with both of the felines. Avoid using water or spray bottles to frighten cats. Chase them around, lock them in a room or otherwise try to force an introduction. These methods are only likely to make the situation worse. Visiting a specialist may be needed if you find your cat still can't get along. These specialists include feline ethologists and behaviorists. They are best suited to helping your cats get on with each other. Now that you have seen our tips to help cats cohabitate peacefully, 
Do you have any experiences you want to share? Perhaps you have some tips which have worked well for you. Leave us a comment to let us know and don't forget to like and subscribe for more enjoyable and helpful content. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.